Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today we're going to be re reviewing the um, Walgreens exclusive Moon Knight figure. And this is my first um, exclusive uh, figure and my first Moon Knight figure. So this is going to be good. So and this first, I just want to note that the artwork right here on the sides nice and then it says moon knight here yeah here's the barcode if you want it or something he doesn't he doesn't come with no figures at the bottom because he's a, sing, a single fi figure and then it says a vision is an egyptian temple leads Mark Spector to don a shroud and become the crime-fighting hero, Moon Knight. Here it is in different languages. And the top has this uh, Moon Knight logo, a spot varnished, ages, and nothing much with the box. So let's and get this into This is his background piece. I feel like it looks, I think it looks cool. Shows the Moon Knight logo, and then it shows his eyes, which I think looks really cool, and it's glowing too. So, this figure is amazing. That's all I gotta say. First, let's get on to his accessories, and then we're gonna look at the figure. Okay, so these two are his hands. Um, he comes with two fist, two fisted hands, two fisted hands, and two uh, grabby hands. Then I mean, you would think that these come out, which do they do not come out? No, if you can see, coming in. And it doesn't come out. Overall, the staff looks nice. But um, you can't really hold it in his hands. Show illustration. Oh, now, now you want to hold. Because it wasn't working before. I mean, that's how it looks. It's loose on... On a this hand just put it in. You, can, you can see this on that hand but I guess it's this this one is tighter than that one I'm guessing because it looks like it and this one's only for holding the these uh, rip off batteries. Which looks, I mean, it looks cool. Matches his logo. And then the, the fisted hands come with these slots, so you can put in the tiny little batterings or whatever you want to call them i don't know what they're called and then the sizes he comes with are uh super big uh medium small i guess there's no uh, difference with these but the last three are all tiny. I'll just show you guys real quick. And they're kind of sharp. So. And then probably the moment, the moment you all been waiting for. The head sculpt. So I honestly think this head sculpt, it looks cool. I just... And this is his um, normal head sculpt that he comes in the box. 
And in the box, he comes with two fisted hands on, but I just changed it. Let me just change the head and put on the variation head. It's a tight fit. I feel like that looks nice. It really matches the shadows if he's like in the dark or something. But I prefer the white head because it just looks better, in my opinion. Okay, now for the articulation. First, we're gonna do the articulation with the cape and then without the cape. Basics, double jointed uh, um, elbows, bicep swivel, go up, not all the way because of the cape. He has butterfly joint, can't really move it because of the cape, but he has it forward. Arms can come out. Hands can swivel all around. Either way, up, down, side, side, side. Same with this hand. And this is ab crunch. Forward is nice because the cape is not covering forward. And then back, I think it's it's pretty. It's actually really good back. And the cape is on. Well, let me just. I hate when Hasbro does that. Put the cape like on uh, inside. But I guess that's for if you want a switcher or something. This is his back. So I prefer the forward. It's really the poses I'm gonna get him in. Hmm. I just noticed. The head sculpt, the hood, has a wash on it, and I think both of them do. Yeah, both of them do. So that's pretty cool. Swivel at the hip. Belt can go up and down like that, but I'm gonna put it where the hip swivel is so no one can see it die cut double jointed knees Let's kick back it's actually really far from Marvel legend kick forward same for both legs you have an ankle swivel I'm oh, sorry not ankle swivel or boot swivel whatever and then we got rocker at the ankle. Not it's like a normal Marvel Legend. His head can look up. His can look down, side to side. Not uh. Good tilt. Now with the cape, see oh. his cape is off now. So now he has more back kick. Go like that. Well, oh, I don't want to break the figure, but not like that. Without the cape, he can reach all the way up to his back or spine. And still not a lot of back. Uh, and I think more tilt. Uh, no. Up. Doesn't really change anything. Down. Kind of changes stuff. But that's really it for this. Just get him in a cool pose. And that's going to be in the end of the oh, video. Uh, this figure is nice.
and I think it looks really cool. So, like I said, I do not have any other um, uh, Moon Knights because I didn't collect the Spider-Man Homecoming wave. I mean, this is focus. Get focus. Hmm, I still have this head that kind of is like it, but overall, I really do like this figure. Uh, I do not know or see any paint splashes or anything. So, yeah. I actually just found a, some black right here on the cape. But that's really it. Nothing else. So, bye.